Okay, we're about to go in and make review. Happy Valentine's Day! Happy Valentine's Day! Guess what I'm making you? Heart shaped pancakes. <gasps> Are you excited? I better go check on them now. Boom, 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 boom! I'm making her a heart pancake this morning. I thought it would be fun to surprise her since it's Valentine's Day. We'll see if it turns out. I got it. Good job. <laughs> What is he doing? I'm gonna put your hair up, okay? What is he doing there? He's just taking some video of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. I'm gonna follow you around today, is that okay? Yeah. Here's your pancake. Look, it's shaped like a heart. Well, mornings are pretty, uh, they go pretty fast, so I let her brush her teeth while I brush her hair and put it in a little ponytail. And then when she's done, when I'm done with this, I'll go finish up the brushing. Right? <laughs> Make sure you get those teeth nice and clean. Oh. You excited? Yeah. <laughs> now Avery push. Now we push Avery. You're gonna push Avery today? Yeah. That's nice of Come you. help me. Her friend Avery's in a wheelchair and Ruby likes to help push her down the halls. Here comes the bus! Are you excited? Oh. <laughs> there there they they are. Are. Is Avery on there? Yeah. Okay, let's go! Hi Avery! Good morning! Hi. Hi. Welcome to A Day in the Life, a SBSK original series that follows individuals living with a diagnosis for an entire day to show that every human on this earth has value, purpose, and is capable of progress when given the opportunity. So without further hesitation, get ready for A Day in the Life. Hey Ruby, are you ready for your question? Do you want me to call you Ruby or Ruby? Ruby! It's good to see you again, Ruby. Now your first question is, where are we? At school. Do you like it here? Yeah. What's your favorite part of school? We made cookies. Good morning. I think it helps both of them. Um, definitely being able to push Avery is special and then also for Ruby to kind of use the wheelchair as a guide for her kind of works for both of them. What's your favorite thing about Avery? She wasn't funny. Avery, wasn't funny? Yeah? She's funny. Oh, it's super sweet. I think we had told Ruby um, that Avery was going to join our school. It was just last May that she came here. She moved here with her family. And so kind of the lead up to Avery coming was really exciting for her to have another um, girl in the classroom. Um, the majority are boys in the class. So she was really excited. And I just think that they just immediate, had this immediate connection and just loved each other from the get-go. Who's your best friend here? Avery. Tell me about Avery. She's sitting next to me. You have a best friend, Avery. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you hold Avery's hand? I just hold her hand. She likes it. Avery, what's your favorite thing about Ruby? She wants to sit by me. 
Hi, my name is Amy Anenson, and I have the pleasure to be Ruby's speech and language pathologist. You are my sunshine. Strong voice. My only sunshine. Out sing me. You make me happy when skies are gray. Stronger voice. When Ruby came here, she had a difficult time answering questions within an average length of time, so we wanted to shorten that up so she could have conversation with others. So she works a lot on questions and answering right away and also engaging with others. When do you need to wear a seat belt? For a bus. What does a phone do? It wins. It's in my Avery. Ruby has a strong desire to learn and a strong desire to connect with others and um, I think that's the most important thing. Avery, hey, are you my best friend? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, ready for this one? Short. My hair is not short. Your hair is not short. You're correct. So what is your hair? Is your hair... No. It is uh, long. <gasps> Can you try saying the L a little better? Long. long yes. If you do like you hold in my hands, do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. Her language has taken off as far as uh, interacting with others and connecting with others and responding within a reasonable amount of time and so she enjoys that connection and so her language has taken off which is thrilling to see. Uh, I'll see you later. All right, let's go. Bye bud. Did, did you play the quiet game in speech today? No. No. Did you answer right away? Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. That's a good deal. Who do you think our guest speak reader is? I don't know. You don't know? Mm. I answer some questions in speech. Do you have fun doing it? Yeah. There's no OT. So today I'm going to be reading the book, Have You Filled a Bucket Today? Your bucket has one purpose only. Its purpose is to hold your good thoughts and good feelings about yourself. You feel very happy and good when your bucket is full. I feel so good when she gets on that bus because it's every second of her day is going to be amazing. From the minute she gets on the bus, her bus driver is awesome to the person who takes her off the bus is awesome. She goes to class and she has an amazing day there. The bus driver has buckets too. You could invite the new kid at school to play with you. That would be a good way to fill somebody's bucket. And you feel very sad and lonely when your bucket is empty. Oh, Ooh, I don't want an empty bucket. No, I don't want an empty bucket either. either. Oh. How about you? You want a full bucket? Bonk. Those are not good feelings. Bonk. You bonked my foot. Just knowing that she's surrounded by people who care about her and really want to take care of her needs, it, it frees me up to be able to do what I need to do during the day and not worry about her at all. All day long, we are either filling up or dipping into each other's buckets by what we say and by what we do. Want to dance, Ruby? John, Hunter, go. John, dance. Do you hear the words? You buckets. You fill our buckets. Yeah. Ruby's got it. Buckets. <laughs> Swing from side to side. Let's go to the left and to the right. To the left and to the right. Stand tall. Believe in who you are. Hey, David, do it. Now, can we spin the other way? Let's spin the other way. Woo! Awesome. I think Ruby can teach the world to be kind. I, I don't think I've ever seen Ruby, I, she doesn't have a mean bone in her body. I think just 
she kind of leads by example and and kindness just kind of exudes her. You're such a good friend, baby. Oh, I love that. Aww. You just filled her bucket. How yeah. do you feel? Good. You feel good, I know. Because yeah. you filled somebody's bucket. How about you? How do you feel about that? Good. She's so excited about everything we talk about and she wants to carry over those skills and do it. And I think that makes her proud that she's able to do those things independently too. And that's what we're trying to teach her is to, you know, carry over those skills outside of the classroom and to be independent. All right, Avery, do you want to fill Ruby's bucket? <laughs> you're so happy. Yeah, she said you're funny. You're so happy. Avery's bigger about me. John, did you write from the other hallways? Yeah. Yeah, she does. And you love that. Yeah. When is that that so John waits bucket. for you? Mom and Dad, I love you. Thank you for caring for me. Thank you for getting me to school. Thank you for buying me chocolates. Your caring words will fill their buckets right up. Are you going to eat? Do you think they're like Skittles? Or they all taste good? Avery, are you your best friend? Oh, she's quite a ways behind us. She's my best friend. I know. But she's behind us, so we kind of got to slow down and wait for her. What is this class? This is Connect right now. So we gather together and our primary focus is that we make connections with our kids. So this particular group is my responsibility just to make sure that their experience here at school is positive and everything that they want it to be. So what are we going to do today? Do you want to color, plan a Chromebook? Sing our song. Should we sing our song? After we finish eating our treats? <laughs> We have a few rules with Ruby. So the first one is always eat with a napkin. The next one is to never talk to her when she's eating or drinking. Or drinking. Don't say, dang it. Oh, you, we have a lot of words you can't say. <laughs> Ruby is such an amazing student. She's such an inspiration to all of us. And I'm sure you can tell that just by the attraction of kids to her. Um, when she comes in, she lights up the room with her excitement. She loves to be included in everything that we do. One, two, three. I'm an ant. I'm an ant. I'm a bee. I'm a bee. Buzz. Buzz. I'm a cow. I'm a cow. Moo, moo, I'm a dog, I'm a dog. Woof, woof. Can you show me the animal song? I'm an ant. I'm an insect, I'm an insect. Crawl, crawl. <laughs> I'm a jellyfish, I'm a jellyfish. Zoom, zoom. I'm a kangaroo, kangaroo. Boing, boing. I'm a I'm a say that I'm probably learning more from Ruby than she is from me so I would assume that would be the same with the student helpers it just maybe changes their perspective of life and maybe makes them thankful for you know what they have Ruby is a student in the class. She sings with the soprano section and she has two seventh grade friends that um, sit with her and help her with what's going on. They help her when she comes to the concerts, especially for walking in on the risers and help her to walk to that spot and the same in the classroom. One, two, three, shake out the hands, shake, shake. shake out the feet. Ruby sings, um, and she loves music. She gets very excited about it, um, and she participates very well. She does a lot of listening and picks up the words and the lyrics that way. Know that it's true.
think Ruby really teaches people that it's okay to be different. Um, you don't have to be perfect in whatever society deems is perfection to be loved. One of Ruby's friends told me that they loved having Ruby around because when she's around, there was no drama. And in 13-year-old girls, there is plenty of drama, but Ruby can't participate in that drama. And so having um, her there kind of helps cancel that out for them. What? She's trying to... Ruby, who are you standing beside? Miss Bucknell. What's your favorite thing about her? That was too loud. What? <laughs> oh. When it's not too loud, what's your favorite thing? That song. They have really come together around Ruby, really, and they have their own little name that they made up with a combination of all their names, and it starts with Ruby. Um, and they just love her so much. They eat lunch together every day. They hang out on the weekends. Hi, Ruby. It's Kate. Hi. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Hi. How are you? And before you know it, Avery was going to lunch with Ruby, and the girls embraced Avery, and now they all eat lunch together. Last summer, her friends were sad. They were worried that they might not get to have lunch with Ruby. And so they each wrote a letter to the principal and asked him if they could be in the same homeroom, which meant that they would be in the same lunch. And they, the principal honored their request. And so those four girls are all in the same um, homeroom and lunch together this year. Should we try to finish our lunch today, Ruby? They even have like a chain, a text chain that they have, which I am on as like her proxy, you know. But she, her iPad, some days I'll go in and she'll be hanging out on her iPad and she'll have like 15 messages on her iPad. So we'll sit down and I'll read them to her and let her know that her friends were texting her and... What do they write? They'll talk about what they, you know, things they want to do. Just general girl chat. So your red sticks are right here. Your broccoli is right here. Your cookies right here. Your cuties are right here. And your milk's over here. Wait, and right here is the sauce if you want it. And they're really a good group of girls. They're sweet and they understand Ruby. They understand her limitations, but also encourage her, like I do, to be as much as she can be. Um, they're just good kids. What do you and your friends talk about at lunch? Gabby's a cutie, Ruby. She gets in the wall. She's a cutie, Ruby. So Ruby is in a, an adaptive FIAD class um, and there are also um, gen ed peers along with her in that class that help out. Happen, 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 stop. Happen, 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 stop. Happen, 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 stop. Happen, 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 stop. Turning, turning, turning. Turning, 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 
bowl, they play softball, they play kickball. They do all the, all the same skills that are done in a regular FIAD class, um, just with a little bit more support. Go, go, go! It's really hard for me to know exactly what she can see because she doesn't really know how to describe things for me in a way that I would understand. Um, but what I've noticed is that she can see light, she can see like shadows. Hey, Ruby. Stronger muscles, here we go. Push hard, push hard. Yeah, yeah. It's been straight, you got it? Push, 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 keep push. going, keep going, keep going. That's oh. crazy, crazy, crazy. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, Her vision does vary day to day. So like if she's having a really good day, it seems like her vision's better. If she's kind of having a tired day, it's almost like she runs into things more often. She just can't describe what she can see and what she can't enough to do like a vision test of any real um, accuracy. <laughs> loves everybody for who they are and I think having a friend like that gives people just such a sense of um, hope and belonging that they might not have in their other friendships. Hey. All right girls you ready? Should we get our muscles moving again? All right move the muscles. Ruby you got the muscles. I'm not pushing her at all. Gotta go faster. Ready? What's the biggest thing you hope Ruby gets out of her education? Gosh, I think I want her to learn functional skills that she can use going forward in her life. And I also want her to have a lot of fun. I think learning should be interesting and really exciting. And I think that's what is happening here. Ruby, you ready to go home? Yes. <laughs> that was home. She is home. You think she's waiting for you? Yeah. All right. Stella's waiting for me. Do you think she is? She talks to Stella all the time. Stella? <laughs> Even when they're not in the same room. <laughs> Sometimes when they're not in the same location. <laughs> Can I give Stella a treat? Later? Sure. I know, wait. Stella, you didn't play in my bucket, Stella? When Ruby gets home from school, all she wants to do is just chill out on the couch and use Stella as a pillow. <laughs> Luckily, Stella's usually pretty patient, but she's getting older and sometimes she moves, doesn't she? Moves, buddy. <laughs> what do you think Stella's thinking about? <laughs> Me. Stella, do you think about me? Yeah, girl. Stella, do I want to pay my bucket? Can you pay my bucket? What's it like to see the lessons she learns at school resonate at home? Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> no, not hell. <laughs> <laughs> she likes the way you say that. I love to see the things she's learning at school. It just means that it's really sinking in. Stella sit next to me. Stella's waiting here. Riley and Ruby have been friends since they were in third grade, so it's been about four year, four to five years now. Who are you sitting with? Riley. <laughs> Riley, tell me a little bit about Ruby. Um, she's probably the nicest person that you'll ever meet, and she has the kindest heart ever, and she'd never do anything or say anything mean to anyone. So sometimes after school, Riley comes over and hangs out with Ruby and they will bake together, they'll do work boxes together. Um, sometimes Ruby even goes over there after school. Why did you decide to be friends with Riley? I made cookies with Riley. <laughs> Is that why we're friends? Because we made cookies? Yeah. Yeah. You need help?
I'm helping. You're helping. Good job. Okay. Oh, no. he's feeling me. Reach, reach. <sighs> Dump! When you're with her, just no matter how bad your day is going or how bad something might seem, she can just like brighten your day whenever you're with her. Oh. He's gonna see me how to do it. She's taught me that you need to accept everyone for who they are, and that everyone's different and unique in their own way, and that everyone just like deserves a chance, and everyone kind of wants to just be friends with everybody else, and you should let them be. Ta-da! So at the end of the night, when Ruby's ready to just relax and unwind, she gets free time. It's Ruby time. And so I set her up with her iPad, send her off to her bedroom, and like any 13-year-old, she is content in there, relaxing and watching it for hours. Are you ready for bed? <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, did we get it all? You see, you gotta do all the first thing. Did we get them all? Yeah. Do they feel clean? Yeah. All right. Where's Stella? She's probably laying on the couch. We should say goodnight to Stella. Should we say it when we get in bed? Uh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Should we go get in bed? I do feel like Ruby was put on this earth to send a message of hope to people and to show people that love really does conquer all. You know, Ruby is pure love and acceptance and she gets that in return from everyone she interacts with and so I just hope that when people see that her life is pretty typical, they they know that she's all good. Like her life isn't worse than anybody else's. It's it's a pretty amazing life that she has. You have a bus friend, Avery. Yeah. Okay, here's the bucket. You're gonna have to find what's hidden in there. What? What? Did you find? I can get those hands way up. There we go. Yeah. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm a tiger. I'm a tiger. Oh, but who came to say goodnight? Still. Yep. She did. Hi, Stella Grill. Hi, Stella. Just say goodnight to her. Goodnight, Stella. She says goodnight. Stella Kayla. She thinks that Stella says goodnight to her every night, but really it's one of me, either my boyfriend or I, making a wolf sound. <laughs> wolf! <laughs> Hi, Stella Grill. Alright, can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? I love you. Oh, I'll see you in the morning. Yeah. Okay. Sleep good? Yeah.